bit of drift. Well, this is Davis right here. You know my videos, I talk about my friend or my buddy. That's him right there. We kind of partnered up with these things. Davis is quite a bit bigger than I am, but he's kind of showed me the ropes. You can see the bees flying everywhere. They just got back from pollination. So uh, I think we'll walk over there and just look. This is one of the trucks right here. It's a smaller truck. But we're gonna turn this thing around and go, go show you what's really going on. All right, here's a big truck right here. Davis, how many hives we got on this truck right here? There's 120. 120 on here, stacked three high. We got a deep and a medium on each hive, there's and there's a, four to a pallet. So what they're doing, we just notice this, they're kind of drifting towards the front. And, uh, but there's a lot of bees in these hives. I think they're going to go back where they're supposed to be before dark. And so we're going to wait until dusk. We're going to move them out to where they go. I've got 44 on here between this one and that truck over there. And then Davis has the rest. And so... It's a lot, a lot of bees flying around. There's 156 hives here. But people have asked me a lot of questions about this pollination. Well, a few questions and, and uh, hey, are the bees gonna come back strong? What do you think? Well, last year I did it for the first time. He's done it for two years now. My bees came back strong last year, but these bees just look phenomenal right now. There might be some dead outs on there, but I hadn't seen any yet, just looking a little bit. I think I counted two last night. Two, two dead outs? Of yeah. Course, Davis was, was down at the uh, receiving yard last night, and he was out. When'd you get back, Davis? We got back about three o'clock. Three so a.m. this morning. Three so a.m. and so he's tuckered out. He's tired, but we're gonna try and get get him out tonight, and then we can just they'll be we where they need to go. We didn't want to unload them, so we figured we'd just let them fly for the day on the truck. And there's gonna be a little bit of drift, but we'll get them to go back in with a little smoke right before dark. Yeah. So that's what we're doing right now. I'll kind of tune back in when uh, when we decide to do this. If you look up, you can see the bees flying. Just thousands and thousands of bees everywhere. Davis, was when I got here, he was walking around the, the lake down there, the pond, and the bees are down there watering. That's one of the issues is the lack of water on the trip, right? Yeah, they, I mean, they go about, unless they go through a rainstorm, which I think they did about the last leg it, near Birmingham, the, the storms yesterday. But uh, the bee, the bees really, they forage for water really hard. So, yeah. yeah. How long is the trip? About three and a half days. Yeah, we're in southeast Alabama, and these were in Central Valley, California, right? Mm-hmm. So it's about three and a half, four days on the truck. And these bees have been through a lot in the last couple of months, but they've earned a vacation. They sure have. They're just about back to their uh, home for a few months here, so that's good. I let this guy borrow my bee jacket. I think he was grateful. Okay, so it's dusk out here, and that's what we got to do now. Look how pretty that is. We got to get the hives kind of mixed around a little bit. Now, these with the initials on them like this are mine. They all got to go on the smaller truck over there. I'm going to get all his, I guess, on this truck or something like that. But we got to get mine on the smaller truck because we're taking mine out first. Thing, man, we got them loaded up. Man, that was a lot of fun. There yeah, they are. We're about to head down to the bee yard where these hives are going to go. 
There's 44 on his truck right here, and the rest of them are kind of stacked around. They'll get him out to his yard either later tonight, probably tomorrow. I'm not sure what you're going to do, Davis, but we're going to get him out of here. Okay, I'm following Davis on our way to the watermelon field. 44 hives on his truck right there in front of us. Well, that's rusty right there. We're getting these pallets placed out here by the watermelon field. The watermelon field's over there. About 13 acres, I think he said. He's reorienting that one. And uh, we got two so far, still got nine to go. He's just gonna lay them out here along this strip right here of dirt. We put them in there originally, like perpendicular to the field, and then we decided it might be better if we put them like this. I don't know if it really matters. The bees were really fired up when we stopped here with Davis's truck. Oh my word, they just jumped on us and went crazy. This is Rusty with herding bees with Rusty and Mike uh, driving the tractor right here. We're putting these the bees on, on his friend down here. The same guy we put the bees on watermelons last year, but this is a different field. Man, they're crazy. The bees, see them? I don't know if you can tell. They're all over those hives right there. Lots of bees, strong. <laughs> Well, okay, it's the next day. If you look behind me, the hives are all lined up along this field right here. We got 11 total pallets, 44 hives that way and over here. So that's how we got them placed out here. Now we get to go through them and we'll do another video on that here today, hopefully, see how they're doing. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all take care and be safe.